Good morning and welcome back to the build everyone. Happy Monday, happy October, uh, happy beautiful fall day. We have uh, three days this week that, that should still be pretty warm. Thursday, Friday, we're gonna start dropping off. Or it, actually, the temps are gonna drop off a cliff. So hopefully we can get enough done in the next three days that the last two days of the week aren't completely, absolutely miserable. But we, we will see, we will see. So. Yeah, last week we got through that first roof section down there and really the next thing for us is going to be to start working towards getting the same roof section done on the back side of the building. However, still a lot to be done before we can even start working on the roof because uh, all the soffits and fascia need to go on first and we have done none of that back here. Actually back here in this bay here, there's still two purlins missing. So we'll have the final purlins to go in today as well as converting this kind of skeleton frame back here to something that looks like a fascia with uh, with a soffit underneath it. So I think Jack and I are going to be doing that most of the day today. And then Donovan will be around on the other side of the building um, working on, he's probably, probably going to put up some more of the wall steel and maybe set a couple more windows or something. But uh, that's the general gist of the plan for today. Big moment for us. It is. The well, last. Why don't we say the last of the pearl? We <laughs> what more will we have? Find more. Just find more. I just put. We you know we're feeling like we're missing pearlins. We should. We should put some more in. Just you know, for old times' sake. <laughs> so we're up here first. We have these last two pearlins to go in, and then, in theory, that's it. That's the theory, at least. So I don't. Uh, there should be some on the ground. Okay, first of the last purlin is installed. On to the final purlin. <laughs> Are you telling the neighborhood? Uh, telling the whole world. This is the last one. Never again. Until next time. We're done. Done and we're done. No more purlins. You're lying to me. I'm lying. That's it for now. Until next time. I'll find another purlin for it, really. That's what Jack was saying. We can put them wherever you want. Yeah, I'm not happy with him saying it either. <laughs> All right, on to the fascia board. More expectations. Okay, Jack and I are going to be working on straightening and tweaking that fascia board. So you guys can watch Eric and Donovan work on no, this no, wall. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. The people must be entertained. It's entertainment, all right. Dance. Dance better.
we have our fascia where we want it. So now we can keep uh, moving forward. Sounds good. Yeah, near the low. Oh, everyone, we're having lunch now. But anyway, next thing up here is we'll start running our house wrap up in here, put our first section up top, and then we can put our F channel in for the uh, the soffit and uh, keep going with that. Lunch, lunch time. Just as you get going. Yep. It's lunch time. Every time. Now we have to do F channel. F channel next. We're gonna find spot. We're gonna start on this end or the other end? Uh, we're here. I guess we're here. Okay. Next thing is the F channel. Soffit sits in here and then the wall tin goes up into here. This goes up in line with the uh, fascia. channels up so we can get some soffit pieces in place. We're gonna do this differently than the other side. We're gonna staple it like we do on the uh, on the ends because that's way easier. Not a happy ball. That's what we want. You're doing great. I think this is almost a halfway point. Or maybe that, that is right there, it's halfway. And it's uh, what time is it? 2.30. So then we put our next piece of fascia on, and then repeat.
So there's a little bit of uh, movement in our fascia or something changing here in the middle. So trim a little bit of off, trim a little bit off of all the soffit pieces so that it fits. Exciting is whatever this is. Some other kind of plane, bird thing. Brain's mush. I think I missed it. What do the people say about this? What the people say? The people say you forgot the door. Yep. Yeah. Did what? Perfection? Is that what I heard? It's yeah. perfection, yes. That's what I thought I heard. To the next section. This is very much like doing purlins. It's just repetitive in so many. It's a lot of soften. Okay, same thing again. Yep. More, yeah. more F. Yep. Okay. 
back a little bit and then get the face on. Take a bow right there. Plug it in, plug it in. Okay, I'll peel the film off. I should go to the fancy windows. This is the film? Yeah, yeah, you didn't get me the fancy windows. Got the window. <laughs> With no fun film to pull off. Okay, we're prepping our cat pieces for along the fascia. And these guys are getting ready to start installing this, the top section here. Again, this top area is removable. So we can come back later and install uh, the trusses for the porch lean-to thing whenever we get around to doing that. Yep. 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 Bottom, what would you do? You mean it's not really sure a drill bit? As soon as I turn the camera on, to show the people, you can break drill bits. So <laughs> with these ones, we're able to just drill uh, through all of these where all the screws are going to go. So that way when we put them up, we're not poking through the steel. The holes are already there. You just put the screw in and go. It'll go a lot faster once it's uh, actually up there. Well, have fun storming the castle. Thank you, Jack. So we have decided the last thing we're gonna do today is to get those short panels up there uh, before heading out for the day. So to keep things moving pretty quickly tonight, we're just going to basically just tack them up 
and then we'll come back through and screw them off for real the rest of the way. So a few screws in each panel. Donovan's gonna follow us down with the tele handler so we can get the panels and then we'll just tack them to the wall and that's gonna be pretty much it for the day. Right, so that's where we're gonna leave it today. We had something, something weird is going on with this uh, short piece section thing. I'm not really sure why, but as we kept going, it was just kept the pieces kept creeping. Um, we thought maybe it was because there's too much bulk where the seams are, because we have the seams on the bottom and then we have the seams on the top, kind of lapping over top of that. So we thought, oh, there's too much material there. So we, we jumped down and we skipped an area so our seams don't line up and we still have the same problem. By the time we got down there, it was all it was all weird. It was dropping. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Something to kind of mess with in the future. Again, with this, I don't really, I don't care too much how that looks because it's gonna come off anyway, but uh, kind of want it to look okay in the meantime. It's the craziest thing is you as you walk out of here and you're like, oh, there's there's none. No, nope, there's, there's a hole <laughs> in the end still. So uh, that is going to do it for today. I think tomorrow we should be or we're going to be pushing towards getting this section of roof up onto over here. This wall can go on as well after that. So that'll be done, too. That's kind of the plan for tomorrow is to kind of work on the back side of this and start getting that side looking like this side. And the wall on this side will go a lot faster because there's no windows or anything to worry about. So that should be uh, pretty darn nice. So definitely starting to look like an actual barn now. Like as you're coming up from the driveway, and this is what you see, it actually looks like there's a there's a barn thing here now, which is uh, which is cool. So, ah, it's, BS. it's still nice out today. It's not gonna be like this for much longer. We got like fall colors, starting to get some fall colors coming in. So this week should be uh, even more colorful as uh, time goes on. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the barn, thing about Bobber or whatever, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy Water King. Well, look, it just ends. <laughs>